If folks says I always throw him back with some more World of Tanks, as you can see, this is Deadly Smurf, and he's in the Oni. This should be a fun and derpy game. Um, this is a prequel to the later game that is going to happen. So basically, I found two replays that are so short. I'm just going to smash them together, and we're going to do roll the credits for both at the end, and um, should be a lot of fun. Uh, so deadly in this game is teamed up with Slick Sick Rick, who seems to be taking his Oni out of the battle entirely, has decided that he doesn't want to be in this fight. Thus, he is going down to the beach on Overlord. Don't, don't, don't do this. If if you're in something big and slow, don't go to the beach, please, for the love of everything holy and sacred and tanking and. Stop. Just don't. Yeah. And he's trying to take shots from back there. <sighs> Please don't do this stuff. This makes me cry inside. Okay. So, as the biggest heavy tank on our team, we're going to sit over here. And we're going to sit here until the enemy team decides to poke around this corner. Now, if we were in a different heavy tank... Such a risk. You got lucky the enemy bulldog died there for some reason. I didn't actually see what what killed him. He may have jumped off that cliff and killed himself. But um if there were tank destroyers that could have spotted you doing that move, you would have paid dearly. But uh, apparently not. Apparently none of the enemy team is in position. Tank destroyers apparently up top for some No. No, 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 no. Well, that was fun. Now it's the end of your tank, though. What? How did you do that? I... Okay. Apparently... <laughs> World of Tanks love him. I... I swear, I thought he was gonna... Every time I do that, I die. <laughs> Every time I see someone else do that, they die. Apparently, you did exactly right. Oh, and now you get your gift. <laughs> Two shots, 1600 damage. Oh, and the VK thinks he can do something. I mean, it's cute. And he did one one shot of damage, 237 damage. I hope you're happy with that. That's all you're gonna do. <laughs> uh. Ooh, SU is running, not quite fast enough. He gets tagged. That, well, he fixed it. Like Rick is setting up the shot. He's gonna take the shot. He missed. Unfortunately, but the T-150 should have him dead to rights. Looking for the shot on the 45 TP. I don't think he's going to get it. No, no, he is. He was, in fact, going to get it before the TP dies. And Rick misses the shot again on a station. No, that wasn't. I see. It was the T-150 that missed. Rick did not miss. That was a great game. They got brothers in arms. That is awesome. We'll see their stats in a moment. For now, we're going to flip over and see the other game. And we're back. So this time we got Radford in the T-57 Heavy. This is a Tier 10 game on the Paris map. Um, And so it's going to be a little different than uh, than the derping we just went. Apparently, they're still going to be derping. It's just a different kind of derping. Oh, yes, 263, round that corner. This was such a great plan on your part. Oh, as we... Oh, he didn't pen the 263. That shot did. And it tracked him. And, uh, oh, he was going for the retract. Actually set him on fire instead. Oh, this is fixed here. My bad. Um, <laughs> set him on fire. That's 1,100 damage from the first salvo. That'll work. And repositions during the reload actually just pushes forward. I think he was seeing if somebody was going to come around this corner, but since nobody has, he just comes all the way up. 
this T10 is going to be in trouble in a se second. Oh. Unless, of course, our T10 keeps getting in the way, in which case he's not going to be in trouble. Yep. Hello, Mr. Ooh. Hello, Mr. T30. T30 fires. T30 should die. Did you just bounce two off a of T30 somehow? Okay, that's not how you use an auto order, by the way. So, next time, you let your allies get shot, and then as soon as the big gun fires in that line, you jump around the corner and you unload. Make sure you kill a tank. Um, if you want to do it that way. I mean, oddly, oddly enough, I like to ambush things. Oh, speaking of ambushing things, didn't realize we were going to be there. Tracks them in place, double tracks them, and then just starts opening up. And, <laughs> and apparently, that's where his ammo rack is. Well, so much for having somebody behind us, huh? Hmm. Well, apparently the, uh... <laughs> oh, the crown again <laughs> uh, has decided that it, it wants to come up on us. So instead, it's got itself caught out in the open. And we're just going to unload on it now. Um, and there we go. Now it's dead. Now the T10 has charged up ahead so that it can bounce a shot off us. Notice how he's not immediately using the repair kit. He lets his tracks come up on his own because he knows the T10 cannot reload before his experienced crew can put tracks back on. Ooh, loaded in time, is able to shoot the Action X, is able to keep putting shots into the Action X. Because the Action X is hiding behind something that's smaller than he is. Unfortunately, though, when we fire this last shot, yeah, now we're in a bit of trouble. That Yag Tiger needs to get his butt up here and help us out. Action X is a one shot, but. Oh, actually, Yag Tiger might be in spot. No! Oh! 7,000 damage. Now, it should have been up around 8,000. Or, yeah, up around 8,000 because he had that one clip where he did absolutely nothing with it. Um, and he should have killed the T30. But, all in all, 7,000 damage. It's a respectable game. This was a great game and um, not a bad use of an auto loader. You notice the fact that he was going for tracks and then just retracking things so that he held them in position and he could shoot them more and his teammates could shoot them? Well played, sir. Okay. This thing is going to die. Um, and we're just going to get on and go look at the stats. So Deadly's game. Second class Master Badge. Bruiser. Fire for Effect. Brothers in Arms, of course. Overall, not an amazing game, but one worth watching. And uh, I should hope that brightened up your Wednesday. <laughs> Top of the damn... Yeah. Not surprising, right? <laughs> But he's actually double everyone else's damage, more or less, except for, of course, his partner. Wait, didn't they only face a couple tanks? How did they do more damage than anyone else on the team? Interesting, right? But they made a ton of money. For three minutes worth of gameplay, this was awesome and well worth it. Um, on the other hand, Radford put up a ton of work and made a ton of dough in return. First Class Master Badge, Bruiser, Demo Extra, Fire for Effect, High Caliber, um, just wow is the right terms, I'm pretty sure. Damaged a whole bunch of things on that 263. Similarly, actually, wait. Isn't that tracks twice and then Amarak once? Interesting. Um, overall, just blasted it out well well done for two really fast games they were both worth watching and intense and a lot of fun thank you both of you for sending them in thank you everybody else for watching and i will see you next time this ioe throughout